one of the devices you're going to encounter uh, commonly on a show uh, are different types of candles. Uh, they're also known as Roman candles. Uh, unlike uh, an aerial display shell that will fire a lift underneath it, basically going from bottom to top, a candle functions opposite where it's going to light from the top and burn down to the bottom. Um, most of the larger candles come with a cap. You don't need to remove the cap. It's there to keep uh, sparks, uh, other sparks from the show from lighting it prematurely. Uh, it will come off with the first shot. You can see where the E-match is going. Uh, that gives you a clear indication what the top, top side of the candle is. Um, you'll have uh, a delay charge, a lift charge, and a ball um, uh, within the candle. The ball on top, which is basically like a comet, it's a single star. Um, it'll hit the lift once that star ignites. Um, it'll fire that one star out. You'll have a delay. Uh, charge that will burn slowly down to the next shot, which is all timed precisely uh, for that particular candle, uh, so on and so forth, and it'll continue to burn through the entire candle. Uh, you can have a smaller caliber half inch that come in bundles like this, uh, typically bundled uh, five together. Uh, and then you can have the larger exhibition candles uh, that can uh, come in a couple different varieties. The, the biggest difference between uh, the exhibition candles and uh, the bundles that you see, in addition to caliber, uh, the size, um, you also have uh, precision. So the larger candles are a lot more precise. Uh, so when you're doing different angles and whatnot, uh, you can get a lot more precision uh, with these guys. And uh, they are set up in uh, different ways, uh, which we'll show you right now. So the way you're going to set up the half-inch candles, um, number one, you want to make sure you have the candle oriented in the proper direction. Uh, you can clearly see where the match is entering the candle. Uh, you do not want to load the candle upside down. Um, you're going to place it into a two inch rack. You're going to build the rack the same way that you would build uh, for firing aerial uh, display shells. Um, the advantage of using the rack is uh, number one, it's going to uh, give a place to secure the smaller candles without having to wrap them uh, with bailing wire, so it's a faster setup. And it gives you flexibility in regards to uh, controlling angles if you wanted to do a tri-flare, uh, et cetera. When you're setting up the large exhibition candles, regardless of which type of rack system you're using, the setup's fairly similar in that you're going to use bailing wire to secure the candle to the rack. These have a lot more energy behind them than the smaller uh, half-inch caliber, so uh, it needs to be a lot more secure than uh, simply putting it into a gun. The main difference between the two racks that you see here, um, this is uh, our standard candle rack. Uh, it's going to be bailing wired uh, using a cross like that. This one's used for a lot more precision uh, in regards to the angles. Candles are always going to be shot uh, with uh, multiple candles at the same time uh, so that you're filling the entire sky. Uh, usually in some sort of a format like you see here, this is a tri-flare. We're going to have a single candle firing up and two candles firing out to the side. So when you're bailing wire uh, candles to uh, any kind of a racking system, uh, the one thing you want to remember is uh, to double up the bailing wire to, to give you that uh, additional security. And you're always going to wire it up in a, a cross format like you see here. When you wire the, the candle to the rack and you're doing your final twist, Typically, you'll use a tool such as an end cutter to give you that final tightness, but you want to be careful to make sure that you're not uh, pinching the tube. So be aware when you're doing that. Also, uh, because bailing wire can get sharp uh, after you make cuts, uh, something to consider uh, from a safety standpoint is to tuck the bailing wire up underneath the rack after it's been uh, cut when you're all done. One of the other important things to look for when you're setting up a candle is how the electric match wire is strain relieved. Most of the time, the larger exhibition candles will come with the E-match wire taped to the muzzle, um, but in some cases they may not, and some of the smaller candles they may not. Um, so you want to be careful when you're loading it that you're not pulling on the E-match wire, being that it is connected to a piece of match inside of the candle that ultimately leads down to the first uh, charge. So to keep from having the candle not function uh, when uh, you fire it, uh, make sure that uh, you do properly strain relief your E-match wire before uh, wiring it up.